Hello everyone. A warm welcome from SDT University. I am Dr. Vinita Rajput from Faculty of Agricultural Sciences. Today we will be learning about types of greenhouses on the basis of their construction and structure. The greenhouse effect is the process by which radiation from a planet's atmosphere warms the planet's surface to a temperature above what it would be without this atmosphere. Earth's natural greenhouse effect is critical to support life and initially was a precursor to life, moving out of the ocean onto land. Human activities, however, mainly the burning of fossil fuels and clear cutting of forests have accelerated the greenhouse effect and caused global warming. The greenhouse effect of the atmosphere is named by analogy to greenhouses which become warmer in sunlight. A greenhouse is built of any material that passes sunlight that is usually glass or plastic. The sun warms the ground and contents inside just like the outside and these then warm the air. Outside, the warm air near the surface rises and mixes with cooler air loft keeping the temperature lower than inside, where the air continues to heat up because it is confined within the greenhouse. Greenhouses work primarily by preventing convective cooling. Heated greenhouses are yet another matter as they have an internal source of heating. It is desirable to minimize the amount of heat leaking out by radiative cooling. This can be done through the use of adequate glazing. Greenhouse structures of various types are used for crop production. Different types of greenhouses are designed to meet the specific needs. Let us discuss the types of greenhouses. First of all, the greenhouses can be classified based upon the shape. A lean-to design is used when a greenhouse is placed against the side of an existing building. It is built against a building using the existing structure for one or more of its sides. It is usually attached to a house but may be attached to other buildings. The roof of the building is extended with appropriate greenhouse covering material and the area is properly enclosed. It is typically facing south side. The lean-to type greenhouse is limited to single or double row plant benches with a total width of 7 to 12 feet. It can be as long as the building it is attached to. It should face the best direction for adequate sun exposure. The even span is the standard type and full size structure. The two roof slopes are of equal pitch and width. This design is used for the greenhouse of small size and it is constructed on level ground. It is attached to a house at one gable end. It can accommodate two or three rows of plant benches. The cost of an even span greenhouse is more than the cost of a lean to type but it has greater flexibility in design and provides for more plants. Because of its size and greater amount of exposed glass area, the even span will cost more to heat. The design has a better shape than a lean to type for air circulation to maintain uniform temperatures during the winter heating season. A separate heating system is necessary unless the structure is very close to a heated building. Several single or multiple span types are available for use in various regions of India. For single span type, the span is generally varies from 5 to 9 meter whereas the length is around 24 meters. The height varies from 2.5 to 4.3 meters. The 
uneven span type of greenhouses are constructed on hilly terrain. The roofs are of unequal width, make the structure adaptable to the side slopes of the hill. This type of greenhouses is seldom used nowadays as it is not adaptable for automation. The fourth type of greenhouse is rich in furrow type of greenhouses. Designs of this type use two or more A-frame greenhouses connected to one another along the length of the eave. The eave serves as furrow or gutter to carry rain and melted snow away. The side wall is eliminated between the greenhouses, which results in a structure with a single large interior. Consolidation of interior space reduces labor, lowers the cost of automation, improves personal management and reduces fuel consumption as there is less exposed wall area through which heat escapes. The snow loads must be taken into the frame specifications of these greenhouses since the snow cannot slide off the roof as in case of individual freestanding greenhouses but melts away. In spite of snow loads, Rich or furrow greenhouses are effectively used in northern countries of Europe and in Canada and are well suited to the Indian conditions. Next is sawtooth type greenhouse. These are also similar to rich and furrow type greenhouses except that there is provision for natural ventilation in this type. Specific natural ventilation flow path develops in a sawtooth type greenhouse. Next is tune set greenhouse. This is a greenhouse where the pipe arch or trusses are supported by pipe purling running along the length of the greenhouse. Such greenhouses are typically less expensive than the gutter connected greenhouses and are useful when a small isolated cultural area is required. These houses are connected either in free, standing style or arranged in an interlocking ridge and furrow. So today we covered types of greenhouses on the basis of their structures. Next time we meet, we will be learning about types of greenhouses on the basis of their utility. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. See you next time.